How's everybody doing? It's Christy Alfianes. What's up, everybody? Today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Um, so... Right before I got on, I was thinking, well, right off right off the bat, I was thinking about a situation and um, a personal situation and what stood out to me is that I, I kept my composure and I heard, I heard for me, the situation has passed already. And, you know, I kept my composure in a certain situation, but I heard keep your composure. So if you're going through something and normally you would either have things to say or you'll react a, a particular way, um, right now, spirit is calling to keep your composure. Spirit or your higher self is alerting you to keep your composure. I also heard um, the other yeah, Empress. I also heard. Um, Seek day. That's what I heard. And so I had to think about it because I was getting something in. This Empress card came out and yeah. Um, I heard a uh, sick day. So I don't know if when you're watching this, you're gonna it's gonna be an off day for you. You're taking, you know, some personal time or you're actually sick. Um But maybe, maybe you've dealt with some things and you may not be necessarily like physically sick with a cold or a flu or anything like that. But you've just been kind of experiencing a lot of things mentally. Like, um, I feel like you're being um, alerted to, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, you're absolutely being alerted to uh, take a personal day, take a sick day. Take a sick day and don't mind my nails, y'all. I ain't took my polish off. Um, and I don't care. <laughs> and I don't care. Um, take a sick day. I feel like spirit is telling you to turn it completely off, turn it all off with this Eight of Wands. You've been experiencing a lot of, yeah, a lot of, um, I'm hearing emotional, emotional turmoil with this death in the reverse. I feel like this death in the reverse, this is for me with this will of fortune, you're experiencing some of the same situations over and over just because the death card is reversed. Usually death is like transition. And um, I feel like maybe you're like not moving, not moving forward. Well, not necessarily not moving. I don't feel like it's not moving forward. I feel like it's some of the same energy that is like repeating, repeated. Like a cycle of some of the same energy that you got to constantly like release. Like, this doesn't, you know, with this eight, it doesn't feel like it's you necessarily doing it to self. I feel like it's more so, um, I feel like it's just constantly something being presented to you, being thrown at you.
because it's because this is forward movement like this is movement coming in like some energy is coming to you and I feel like the, what's coming to you is what's on repeat and I feel like you've held your composure like as of late you've held your composure you've been trying to be as Strong, balanced, but I feel like something, something with this, it's like your cup, it's like you've had enough, you've had enough, you've had enough. So let's shuffle. That's just the opening, y'all. <laughs> Literally, um, yeah, seven thirty-seven. You've had enough. You've had enough. Yeah. This chariot card at the bottom of the deck. You've had enough. a sick day out. Not necessarily a full on vacation. Maybe you've had vacations or maybe you've um or if yeah if you need a vacation, take a vacation absolutely with that that chariot card too. You know but I just know that you're alerted to take some some time off to release. Collective energy, general message, general messages. for the collective spirit. Let me see. I got my other tarot day. General message for the collective spirit. What is the collective, collective feeling? The collective that will be watching this now. Today. On 11-16-2022. Or anybody that will be watching this in the future. day for this message for any seeds any advice any comfort any clarity that you can give to um through me to the collective asking heal energy positive energy energies of healing energies of love energies of strength energies that are just to Use me as a vessel at this time to deliver any messages you may have for the collective. Any thanks to Source Truth. Calling me a protection. Calling me my protection. Asking my protection to call out any low vibrational entities that are here 
are around for my demise or the collective demise. Call them out. Single them out. Exit. Show them to the exit. <laughs> That's what I heard. Walk them out of this area. Creating a bubble around me for the collective. Create a bubble of joy. We got Ace of Wands, we got the Queen of Wands, we got the Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing get back on your domain. Get back on your domain. Ace of Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Get back on your domain. The Six of Pentacles is kind of standing out to me like I don't I feel like because I'm I'm looking at the circle. Like I'm looking at how the pentacles are like in a circle. I don't know if you're being called to like this isn't necessarily networking but this is like okay just some background like okay so six of pentacles is like a giver a queen of wands a, a, a wands energy they're like givers they give, they kind of like to um, be amongst the crowd, you know. I feel like spirit is like calling you to get back on a certain post, get back on a certain, like get, get, get in your domain and either create or either create a circle or give back to a, a, a particular group or circle of, of people. We got the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords, yeah. Ten of Swords, absolutely, yeah. So, it's, yeah, and then we got the monarch at the bottom of the deck. I mean, at after everything. So, yeah, queen of wands, um, and this could be for um, a male or female that's in a particular queen of wands, queen of um, wands energy, because you have the ace of wands. Remember, you have the ace of wands here which this is more, you know, more divine, more precious, more, um, in a sense, sense from, sent from heaven. You know, this is uh, creativity. This is um, information, messages. Higher roles. 
higher roles. You've been through with this three of swords, five of swords in reverse. I mean, yeah, five of swords in reverse. The three of swords, five of swords in reverse. And then ten of swords. You definitely, definitely been through a period of like this is that same, like same turmoil that I was pulling earlier in these um in this deck. Because the, the Five of Swords is um, repeated here. And it's like you've been through an, enough struggle, enough strife, enough um, damage, enough damage. And it's like, I'm kind of feeling like enough is enough. Enough is enough. Just get up. Knock whatever that is, you know, that has been troubling you and bringing this energy towards you and like get back on your, your, your throne, your domain. Spirit is saying, I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Spirit is spirit is screaming, screaming, why aren't you? Three of swords, yeah. I split okay. Wow. Okay. Three of swords, nine of swords, yeah. So this is is it's in it's, it's like enough of this. I know we're all dealing with something. I know we're all going through something. But it's like spirit is like, okay, hold your composure. Be that empress that you are. Be that empress that you are. Be that queen of wands that you are. Stand in your knowings that your ace of wands is right behind you. Standing next to you. Right in front of you. Meaning your protection. Your, your voice. Your wisdom. Your own creative ability. Your own, um, you know... Your own like like way of doing things. It's like you you are. It's like your higher self. You're in your higher self, and your your way of doing things. You know that it's you know that it's for the best. You know that it's um gonna gain. You know you're gonna. You know that being in this Ace of Wands energy, you're going to gain um, what it is that you need for the betterment for yourself. But with this, I feel like this is something, something that maybe you need to share. Maybe you need to kind of give back what you've learned, what you're, you know, Maybe you're molding something. Maybe you're getting, you know, you're, you're like growing wise to, to, to some information. I don't know if you're studying something or if you're trying new things, um, if you're, you're building something. But while it's like while you're building, you're holding on or something, you're reliving something, you're going through something, you've been, you know, Tested time and time again with this seven of swords here. Yep. 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 You've been tested time and time again with this seven of cups. I mean, seven of swords energy. Time and time again. Justice. So it's time to. I don't know. I'm, I'm also hearing reinvent the wheel. 
reinvent the wheel. Like I feel like this six because the six of <clears throat> six of pentacles. You cannot see it's cool in there. With the six of pentacles, I'm looking once again back at the other deck, the wheel of fortune that came out. And it's like reinvent the wheel. And like I feel like I said, I feel like what you've learned, what you've gained, what you're gaining through um through a lot of just injustice with all this swords energy. With all this swords energy, spirit is saying kind of wipe that clean. Go ahead and release that. That's gonna be there. Each step that you take, that's going to be there, but let's not stay in this nine of swords when we're depressed, where we're sad, where we're, you know, just stuck, not moving, not sharing what we've learned, not, not giving back what we've, um, what we've sown on, on ourselves, like enough of that, enough of, you know, contemplating whether or not that's, that's, you know, what it is, what we should be doing, because I feel like, you know, I feel like with you coming out as the queen of wands and the empress with this eight of wands, you already already know who, what it is that you should be doing. You already know who you are with this ace, with this ace of cups and this witch and this mystic. You already know. You already know. And you, it's, yeah, you are, you already know. Five of Pentacles. I don't think this is, I just, I feel like this is, I feel like this isn't necessarily like a, a new creative endeavor. I really do feel like spirit is calling somebody to take all those hardships, take all those hardships and, and give, give that back, either give, give it back to spirit by releasing it in whatever way you're being led to release it. But also give it back to like the community. Maybe some, I don't know if it's classes. I don't know if it's just speaking. I don't know if this is, it could be in some type of creative way. Like give back all your turmoil, all your, you know, lower experiences so that the, you know, another group of um another group of people could um learn from it like i don't feel like this is necessarily and and i mean and i mean I, this could be like a, a particular like spiritual gift or talent or, or, you know, specifically for you. Like, I'm not, but I'm not really feeling like, oh, this is like a grand calling. I just think that this would be, this, this would be, um, more so just giving your wisdom, you know, wisdom to, to those who need it, you know, I just think that, that you, you may be around a particular group of people or could be connected to a particular group of people that could use, you know, what you've learned. I'm not necessarily saying it's gonna, you know, gonna make you a bunch of money or anything like that. I just think that it would, it would be be good. I think the information that you, um, the wisdom and the the experience and the and the knowledge that you've you've gained from 
from your heavy experiences in life will definitely, you know, be beneficial to someone else. The universe. So the universe here, the high priestess, I'm hearing is what I'm, literally what I'm hearing and what I, well, what I heard was like, don't act like you forgot. Like, don't act like you forgot. Like, I feel like this is, this is, you know, source truth, the universe you know, angels, ancestors, your spirit team, letting you know, reminding you, because the high priestess came out in the reverse, but um, I'm not keeping it in the reverse. Because and when I turned it, when I turned it around or whatever, that's when I heard, "Don't act like you forgot," because the high priestess is somebody that's knowing. She's connected emotionally connected look at this ace of pentacles look at these aces that's coming out don't act like you forgot don't act like you forgot the temperance heat the temperance is here like this is and, and i'm looking at at this not necessarily be patient or you know wait it out i'm literally looking at this because the temperance card is is a a, a card that that depicted by angels in most tarot card decks right like these are your angels and ancestors telling you like don't act like you forgot don't act like what you know what was what was promised to you once again look at that the queen of wands don't act like you forgot don't act like you forgot potential potential zero potential ten of cups don't act like you forgot now we got the death now we got the death card in the upright now we got the death card in the upright don't act like you forgot don't act like you I'm gonna name this this reading that I hope I can remember don't act like you forgot. Three of Wands, Ten of Swords, again, don't act like you forgot. Don't cause um, the, the deceit, the conflict, the confusion, the, the worrying. Don't, call, don't let that, that cause you to forget. It says believe in what what 
believe in what you feel called to and trust that others will believe it as well what you create what you are creating is something for everyone keep spreading your magic magic and all the power that you possess will be recognized so like i said i feel like there is something a group of people that are kind of in a sense waiting on you Gonna do the four of the four agreements. Okay, so we're gonna do the four agreements. Angels and sisters and sisters. Speak with integrity. Be impeccable with your words. Say only what you mean. Avoid using using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Express your own divinity. You don't need to. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need need not. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts you have the right to be you and you express your own divinity by being alive and by loving yourself and others um enjoy heaven on earth be impeccable with your word impeccability of the of the word can lead you to personal freedom success and abundance you can attain the knowledge of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable, impeccable with your words. Excuse me. I'm going to read that over. Um, it's just something personal that's really not pertaining to this. But y'all, I can't move my life up. Just got this text message. Um, um, impeccability. I love my word. Enjoy heaven on earth. Impeccability of of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the knowledge of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. Become um, immune to poison. Don't take anything personal. Become immune to poison. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you do not take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Oh, wow. 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 Can't make up my life. I'm 
telling you, don't let your depression lead your spirit. Relax, study more, take a course, insecure. Don't let your depression create insecurities in you. I'm feeling like this, this book knowledge, study more, it's like you've, you've learned yourself. You've learned a lot. There's a lot that you, you, you've you learned during your like depression, during your times of um grief of strife with others but don't don't turn that don't turn it into insecurities maybe create a course okay let me just take two of those Happy sunshine, candle magic. Self love is not a material. Uh, it's not a material glow up. It's yeah. It's not a material glow up. It's something that we give back. I really, I'm seeing that and feeling that the self love journey is something that you can give back to others. It's something, it's something that you can give, definitely give back to others. Spirit guides, the angels, the ancestors, spirit guides, true oracle. Black polar has a lot to do with um, with shadow, the shadow self, and this has been a shadow period, and um, it's time to it's time to take that it's time to take that self love, box it up, and, and give it to to other people. That's it. That's all, guys for um these messages for today if 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 it you know if you could connect with it once again tap in with me if you like something personal love naturally 47 um you can I didn't mean to do that you can um book a session inquire about more get more details with me personally um until next time, it's me again, Christine Fiannes, Love Naturally, everybody.